Hi friends, I am Saloni and I work with Smart Reporting R&D team. This video will help you to understand the report sharing and broadcasting functionality. Report sharing and broadcasting both are report distribution functionalities. However, the basic difference is broadcasting is recurring functionality and report sharing is a point in time feature. Let's have a look at an example. This is a report which I want to share with concerned people. For this, I need to edit this report from output option as emailing is not enabled by default. And while saving this report under distribution security option, set email option as on. Email and broadcast security function has three options. All users will help you to share a report with all system users only. Through unsecure option, you can share a report with unregistered users also. With validate user option, you can share a report with the users who have category access to the report. Activate it and click on share option. You'll see two options here. Distribute and email. Email option will help you to share report with the users who are not in smart reporting. Here you can select the type also in which you want the report to be shared like PDF, RTF, DOC, XLS, etc. Through distribute option, you can share report with smart reporting users only. So even if you try to type an external email address, it will not take. Also here you have option for group sharing as well, wherein if you have already created group, then you can share the report with the whole group at the same point of time. Okay, so moving on to our next topic that is broadcasting. Broadcasting option is also not enabled by default. Also, that broadcasting icon is also not shared and visible until and unless you set broadcasting option as on while saving the report and activate it. When you click on broadcast option, there you will see two types. Generally used one is broadcast. Here also, you'll need to add recipients, email subject, and email body and type in the same way as we did for reporting. Now, as I said in the very beginning that broadcasting is a recurring activity. For scheduling a report, we have few options. Always send option will send the report to the recipient without looking at any criteria. With only if delivery rule met option, you can define criteria. As an example, send report only if assignee support group is Calbro services. So if report will be sent to recipient only if the criteria mets. If there is invalid rule defined, then it will not allow you to save the rule. Looking at time period perspective, report can be scheduled on daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly, bi-yearly, etc. basis. Also based on days as well, that is Monday, Tuesday, etc. Once you have broadcast scheduled, it can be seen by navigating to administration, admin console and schedule management. Select type as broadcast. Once you open any particular broadcast, you can see all the detailed information about the broadcast like when it was last ran, next scheduled ran, delivery reports, etc. From here, you can change schedule time only, not any other detail. Hence, report sharing and broadcasting are very powerful features for sharing report with other internal and external users, monitor it in timely manner and do the needful for business. Thanks for watching the video. For more helpful tips, watch all the smart reporting videos.